Hi, he's Adam. And he's Connor. And we're the Beer Guys. Unless, well, you get the gist of it. Yeah, we've been saying that for like at the beginning of all. You, you guys can feel free to give us a new name. Just leave a comment down below. Tell us how we're doing. Uh, unless you think that we suck, in which case don't bother because we're going to ignore you. Today's beer review is uh, a favorite of mine. Uh, yeah, I'd have I'm, to say it's, it's one of my top 20. It's a George Killian's Irish Red. It is a amber lager. Huh? Nothing, I'm just dumb. It's an amber lager, or we're going to put it in the category of lager. And, um, uh, it's 4.9 it's alcohol? Yeah, 4.9% alcohol. 4.9 alcohol. That's almost five. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's from Ireland. It's an Irish beer. I think it's an import. Though uh, I think Coors and Heineken actually are uh, make George Killians. I don't know that. And yeah, we didn't know it. We were just, uh, we were just, we just looked that up ourselves recently. Uh, what was, what was I going to say? I had something. I was going to make a point. Oh, uh, yeah, it's a favorite of ours. It's definitely. I don't know about Adam, but it's. I, I, I. It, no, I, I it's. A, I, I, yeah. I can say that it's in my top twenty, maybe even in my top ten. I'm not sure because I don't have the list right here with me. But, uh, but yeah, if you can't tell, we're both very Irish people. Uh, so, so that's a that's a contributing factor. It, it tastes like home. But uh, here we go. Ooh, it's, it, it's got a dark scent. It's not it does. Like, it's not a like it's. It smells like it has flavor. Yeah, it, it smells kind of nutty, like like nutty. bread almost. Bread. Yeah, like fresh fresh baking bread. I can see. So it's got a like wheat bread. Yeah, it's really, it's really. It smells really good. It's very aromatic. If you if you like the smell of beer, you will like this. I hope that our opinions haven't changed. Adam uh, feels as though, because we're rating it against other beers instead of as a standalone, that it will affect uh, how highly we praised it before. Uh, I, I feel the exact opposite. I feel like, oh wow, we're going to drink this with other stuff and try and let these other beers live up to Killian Red. So, uh, so I, I feel like this is going to be an experience. <laughs> Oh, it's really good. Let's see. It's it's. I don't know. It's got its own taste. If if you gave me a blind taste test, I would be able to pick this out from. A I can definitely pick from this other out. Beers. Like I can I can taste this. This is really good. Like I said, it's 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 already. And, and you know, it's, I I can still taste it. You know, it's still. I it's still flavoring on my tongue. If you if you I mean that's for it's not the best phrasing I've ever come up with, but it, you know, it's like you can take a swig and taste it for several seconds. You know what? Uh, if, if the Bastard L, like, toned it down just a little bit, uh, it would make a Killian's. I can taste kind of like a... Like an oaky kind of... Yeah. It, yeah, it's, it's really earthy. It's, it's, it's a very, uh, Trying to think of the word. Usually, I'm good with words, but this very is, flavorful. It, it 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 tastes a lot. Even if you don't like the way that it tastes, you cannot argue that it has a lot more flavor than most other beers, especially lagers, uh, like we've been doing here recently. Uh, I'm gonna say a solid 8.5. 8.5. I'm gonna give it a nine. Looks like we got a badass in here. Uh, I, yeah. I'll give it an eight. 8.5. I was I mean, about to submit to nine, bro. But you're gonna submit? I was gonna submit. I mean, it's it's amazing. It is. It's good. It's somewhere between eight point five and nine. It's definitely not a ten. It's definitely not something you uh, you sit there and try to get drunk on. It's just something. It's definitely a beer that you that you drink to enjoy. Yeah. You drink it, to it, enjoy. If just you like, don't like beer, you won't like this. Just drinking this. It, it's. It would go well with things like uh, steak and ribs, barbecue food like that. It's uh, it's it's a really hearty beer. That's the word I was looking for in there. Hardier, hearty, hearty. It tastes like Ireland. It does. It tastes like if you went to Ireland and licked the soil. I imagine this is what it tastes like. I've never been. We should we should film us licking the soil of Ireland. We should have and then we we will do a review on the taste of Ireland soil uh, eventually. 
It will be hilarious. You should if we ever run out of beer to review, what will we do next? I guess soil. <laughs> uh, hard liquors, Smirnoffs. <laughs> is Smirnoff I mean, well, beer? Look, hey, hey, look. If if what we, is Smirnoff considered? Uh, a wine cooler, I think. Oh. It, it, but if we if we run out of beers, or if you if you guys overwhelmingly want us to taste bitch beer, uh, Smirnoff, Mike's Hard, any any kind of Seagram's like wine coolers or stuff. We will rate those for you, okay? I can't guarantee that you will like what we say about them, but we will do it. If you guys want us to, this is a very user-oriented thing. We're going to let you guys decide what we review. We're reviewing a bunch right up front uh, to get started with, so we'll have a database. You guys will have a feel for, for how we review and the kind of stuff that we say. Uh, up, to, up to this point, we've been really wishy-washy about our beer, but we knew that we both like Killiams, uh, so we figured we would... Uh, we would do one that we knew that we liked that we could rate pretty high uh, because we've pretty much everything has been uh, a couple of degrees off off warm uh, so far with the exception of Eric and Bastard Ale which we're not sophisticated enough for. <laughs> uh, we will review, speaking of sophistication, we will review wine. We will review any kind of alcoholic beverage that is legal for us to buy. Uh, What's illegal? I just, I don't know, I don't want people sending us crazy shit, you know, like, <laughs> hey, uh, we want you to mix absinthe and goat turds. <laughs> what? I just, I don't know, don't tell us to rate anything ridiculous, all right? Like a uh, cough syrup. Mouthwash. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, that's an inside joke, we'll put a link to that video below. Yeah, uh, link uh, below to, uh, if you'd like to try this beer, if you want to look at it some more, uh, check the links below. Uh, you know, uh, it's really good. I would, I would at least try it, unless you're more of a light beer drinker. Because it's not, it's not that light. Yeah, it definitely if, has if a you, um, stout taste. If you like Coors yes. and uh, Bud Light, Miller Light, light beers and things that, that are, are mild and don't have a lot of beer flavor to them, you will not be a fan of this. If you like things like uh, Guinness Draft, uh, help me out, what else? Uh, would fall into this category. If, if you like, it's not a very dark beer, it's a, it's mild for, for what it is, uh, but it's uh, it's really good, it's, it's definitely one of our favorites, and like we said, it's an 8.5 to a 9. You oh, split, right. the difference, split the difference and say we're gonna, we're gonna go, final answer is 8.7 on this one. Yeah, 8.7. 8.7. Uh, subscribe. Did I ever say that? Did I ever say that? I think so. But I'm not sure. We cannot say it enough. Subscribe we want you guys twice. To subscribe. Uh, uh, tell your friends to subscribe. Like us. Comment. Uh, leave comments down below. What beers would you like for us to review? Or drink, try, rate. Um, if you just have a concoction that's non-alcoholic that you want us to taste, we'll make some of it here and taste. Tell it us what you it. think of George Killing. Yeah. If you guys have a reply video or just something that's not obnoxious and troll-esque to post in the comment section, <laughs> let us know, because we really want to know what you guys think about us and about the beer. Uh, that's, that's, we, we can't say it enough uh, or, or reiterate too many times uh, that we want you guys to, to let us know. Uh, we want this to be really uh, a lot of give and take between us and you. So uh, yeah, uh, let us know. George Killian, 8.7. And link below for What About Mouthwash? <laughs> Say it real quick. Right now? Yeah. Alright, this is me coming back from the previous video. Or, I guess not. Okay, you can edit all this out, right? Just say it! Remember to drink responsibly. It's part of our thing.